And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Free predictions, Australian Open. Hit the super thanks. Like the video. Show some love. Drop a flag where you're from. Represent your country. Throw your flag up. Now, let's take a look at the first match up here and check out the other preview prediction videos. They're all free. Good content, guys. Russ taking on Kalanina. They've played technically twice if you count the Billie Jean King Cup where Anne Helena won that. So it's technically 1-1. The Jean Cup, you can say, is probably the more important match. I like Rush. She's a left-handed player. Primarily, though, she is a good clay player. Nearly 700 wins in her career. Uh, yeah, she's older. She's getting up there. She's, I want to say, going on 34 years old. Uh, she is seven years older than Anne Helena. But nearly 700 wins in her career, 400 plus wins on clay. She's a clay player, we know that. But she's got a left down the line. We saw her take out Vavara, Favertova. And Anna Helena struggled against Marta Kasuk. I told you Kasuk would win that match. She lost to Burrell recently. Um, she did beat Rush, though. I mean, not even a month ago at the Billie Jean King Cup. But this is a matchup where I would take Rush plus two and a half games on the first set spread. Anna Helena is a big favorite, and I don't like that. And Helena gets tired and Russ is not going to get tired. Take the plus two and a half games. Russ first set. Anna Kalinskaya, Katie Valinets. This is going to be a good matchup here. Now, these two ladies, they've played once. Anna owns a head to head. Now, Anna is she's a good shot maker between the lines. You know, don't forget that. But Katie Valinets has a she has great cardio, great stamina. Now, the, the, the one time they played was at Tampico, right? Not too long ago. Kalaskaya won that very easily, and I think I'm pretty sure I gave you a pick for that. Now, Anna Kalaskaya, we saw her go three sets with Dash Akina recently at the Adelaide round of 16. And before that, look, she beat Barbara Kachikova, Christina Buxa. This is a matchup here where Anna's the favorite, and I think she should be. I like Katie Volleynet. She might be on my list of top 10 Americans to watch out for, but right now, I think she's still a little green. Um, she struggles a bit. Anna's the better shot maker. The longer the rally goes, Anna's going to be favored. I like Anna to beat Katie Volleynets. Sloane Stevens taking on Olivia Gadecki from the land down under. Olivia had a 51 season last year. She is balling hard out of control. Taking on Sloane Stevens, who's 1-2 and two on the year. We saw Sloane Stevens lose to Yon in a three-set thriller. We saw her lose to Elise Mertens in a three-set thriller. Uh, but she did beat Sanyakova pretty easily. Uh, Gadecki... Look, she's facing some tough competition. Uh, last time out, three set lost to Wong. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rebacana. She she did beat Kimberly Burrell and Savinch and Krunik while coming through qualifiers to make the Brisbane draw. This is a matchup here where Sloan, at this point of her career, she's a patient counterpuncher. I think she needs to be a little bit more aggressive. I think she's got to put more power on her serves, even though her serve placement is good. Sloan doesn't really make a lot of mistakes. If you beat Sloan, you really have to take a tour and hit a winner that she just can't return. This is a matchup here where Sloan's going to use her uh, Patience and experience to, to, to be the younger player. I like Sloan Stevens to get the victory here. Sloan Stevens beats Olivia Kadecki. That's the pick. And the next pick we have Peyton Stearns versus Daria Kasakina. Dashakina. Look, Dasha got destroyed last time out against Elaine Asabenko. We knew that. That was a given. Uh, Peyton Stearns, different type of player, though. She doesn't have that power that's really going to frustrate Dashakina and prevent her from you know, playing her long, grueling rally type of style, defensive powerhouse type of style, uh, because you're laying out Spangles, she's just going down the line. Dash has no chance to even return a lot of those shots. So it's going to be a match that goes under. Uh, Elena's going to cover that type of match every time. Payne Stearns, on the other hand, she's going to play into this type of style. And um, I like the first set to go over eight and a half. I do think Payne will win some games. So can Payne beat Dash Akina is the question. I think she can. But Payton's going to have to play very fast. And the problem with that is the faster she plays, the more she's going to be prone to injury. But Payton Stern, she's, she's a young, strong, physical type of player. Uh, and if she goes in there not playing around and, and really, really just speeds up Dasha, Dasha can make mistakes and Payton can beat her outright. But the pick's going to be the first set to go over eight and a half games. Like it or leave it. That's the, that's the predictions for this video, guys. Like the video, drop a flag where you're from, comment your favorite player, and always hit the super thanks. We'll be right back.